Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordan Crook with TechCrunch and today we're checking out the Irby e-vehicle. All right, I'm here with Grant Delgatti, who is the co-founder for the Irby. Can you tell me a little bit about this, this scooter e-vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, this is what we call the most uh, compact personal e-vehicle. It's designed to go 20 miles on a single charge and uh, 15 mile an hour top speed. And it folds up like this so you can fit it in the trunk of your car or between your legs on a train or a bus. Nice, let's check it out. Let's go for a little spin here. You got the hang of it. Nice, right? Pretty much a pro. Uh, um, okay, so you, you built this for the last mile commuter, right? We talked about that a little bit. Yeah. But my question is, this is a $1,500 device. That's kind of what you're going for yeah. in that range. Sure. How do you justify getting two, you know, you're already spending, what, $100 a month on the train, or you're already spending money on, you know, whatever other transportation you're taking, then why spend another $1,500 for that extra 10 blocks you're walking? Are there consumers demanding that? What we found is that people are trying to find an alternative to the actual traditional commute. So the idea is to replace a car. It, essentially, yeah. I mean, this this is a different form of transportation. This is This is actually changing the mindset of how people commute to work. If you had a car, and let's say you had a you know 15 minute drive to work every day, you couldn't really replace your car with this because what about the days you want to pick up groceries, or what about the days that it's raining, right? Yeah. So it really is a second transportation vehicle. It, it, it can be. It can be multimodal transportation. So it can actually fit in the trunk of your car. So when you drive into the town in the city, and you're going to deal with all the congestion, all of the parking issues, all of that. Why not park outside the city, pull this thing out, and ride in, and you won't have to pay all that parking and deal with all the headaches. It's like a second option. Yeah. So you're launching on Kickstarter. Why Kickstarter? The great thing about Kickstarter is, is we can get the, the funding that we need to go into production, um, and we don't have to give up any of that equity, you know? So it's instead of getting, going after the, the venture capital uh, and angel investment funds, we can, we can raise the money this way and actually sell and also get our name out there. So Grant, I see this slot right here, and you have a phone in yours. What, what's that all about? Yeah, so we've got a, a little mount here on the top that, that will allow for any smartphone to fit in the top here. It's actually, uh, right now, this is just a prototype, so it's not working, but it's gonna come in, in and out like this. So okay. you could put, a, one in put like a Samsung Galaxy or anything in there. Right. And essentially, we're developing an app that's going to communicate with the bike, so you can actually charge your phone while you're riding. Plug it in via USB. I plug it, there's USB a USB in the here. back here. And then you'll be able to monitor your battery life, your range, your speed. So what market are you going for? Are you going for like the Segway people? Or are, are you expecting this to maybe be like a, a teenager's toy? I mean, what is the, what's the demographic you're, you're looking for here? We wanted to go after that last mile commuter. So we thought, how can we develop something that is going to be fun to ride, uh, very practical, but also very compact. The, most of the issues with last mile vehicles is that, you know, if you get on a real crowded train and you have a big full size bicycle, you're not gonna fit on. So I'm getting on a bus, what do I do? Show me how to, how to fold this so bad yes. boy up. So when you roll up to the uh, station or the, where the train or the bus is, you just take it like this and you just put your foot behind here, lift the seat that disengages the lock, pull it back like this, Done. and you're ready to go. Then and you can roll it around, right? Now you can roll it around like this, like a suitcase. Awesome. And then when you want to yeah, get, unfold it. When you wanna get off, off the, the train, now. you're off the bus, you want to go for your, your ride to work, you just... Whoa. Just like that, it's and like it's ready to go. Kick. This space is obviously heating up a lot. What are, your, what are your worries or concerns when it comes to competition? You've got a you lot know, out there, right? You know, I think we have an innovative product. I'm hoping that we'll be pretty successful right at the very beginning. And um, as long as, you know, we, we make a big splash right at the beginning, I think we'll be good. All right, well, it's been really good chatting with you. Thank you so much for uh, showing me how the Irby works. You're welcome. I mean, this is great. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Do you mind if I ride some more? Go for it. I'm just going to peel it right out, if that's okay with you. Kickstands up, wheels up. Thanks for watching, guys.